introduction. <laughs> hey, good afternoon and welcome to uh, Semi Pro Sports. This is our first ever Semi Pro Sports. I've got the boys from JBC Films here with us. Um, they reached out and they wanted to do a, a sports podcast, but it's actually going to be a video cast because we're recording it here today. We want to thank the Kiowa County Me Media Center and Grant Newhold for letting us use the facilities here. Um, want to make sure that we also give a shout out to them on sponsorships um, and fundraising. It is a nonprofit here at the Kiowa County Media Center. So as we continue to do more of these Semi Pro Sports video casts, uh, we will be bringing up things about sponsorships and trying to help continue to raise funds for the media center here so these kids can have a, a great opportunity. So for those of you that uh, obviously nobody's ever seen us here on Semi Pro Sports since this is the first one, uh, but you guys should be aware that uh, every one of these dudes right here have actually been able to go out and uh, be involved in, in video production over the last few years. We actually have uh, the media center here in town does our uh, local sports live at the high school and streams those live and every one of these guys have been involved in that process um, from running TriCasters and picking what's going on the screens to putting the uh, graphics up on the screens to running cameras and all that and that's kind of what sparked their interest in this so uh, we're excited that these guys want to do this uh, semi-pro sports for those that don't know me I'm Chad uh, father of these two knucklehead twins right here um, and so uh, I get the fortunate uh, fortunate job of raising them, but if they do something wrong, we're going to blame that on their mom right there. Um, but with us today, we've got uh, Br Brady's over here. We've got Bryson over here. We got Bryson over here, who obviously is a Royals fan, but we don't have a nickname for him. So if you guys got a great mm. nickname for Bryson, uh, give us one of those. So Bryson, tell everybody hello. Hey guys. Um, yeah, I'm Bryson. That's me. Yep, that was very enthusiastic <laughs> there, Bryson. Good job. Good job. We got uh, Copo Connor Poor sitting right here next to me here. Um. I'm Connor Poor, freshman. Uh, I, I've been able to do a bunch of announcing and directing and stuff with the Media Center, and I really loved it. So uh, it, this was a great idea. Actually, Bryson came up with it, and, and my dad over here did. And then we like combined his and his to make this. And I think it's going to be really fun. Um, it's gonna, we're going to have a great time doing it. I hope you guys have a great time watching it. All right. And uh, if you don't notice, Connor now all of a sudden this year, He's a uh, Cleveland Browns fan from Baker Mayfield, big uh, OU fan, yeah. and now that uh, Baker's with the Browns, still, he's all over still the Browns. Still big time, still big time Broncos Browns fan. No one, still, still Broncos That's fan, right, just a Baker Mayfield suck. fan. Right over here to the left, we got the mouth, mouth of Brady Dieterding right here. Brady, go ahead and introduce yourself. Yeah, I'm Brady. Um, that was hard to say, but you. What grade are you in? Shy. He's shy. What grade are you he's in? He's a shy one. He's a middle schooler. Hey, shut up. Yeah, but we're bringing the height into it. And at the end, we got uh, Saquon Barkley over there. I mean, uh, Caden, Caden Poor over here. Caden, it's raining threes poor over here. What do you got to say, Caden? Hey there. <laughs> As you can tell, it's a comical cast here. So the way this is going to work, at least for this first one, uh, we're actually, we put a bunch of topics in the hat. We want to talk sports. We may occasionally throw in some things about life uh, with that, uh, which we may start with. Uh, question for all of you guys, who in here has girlfriends so far? <laughs> just one is there a reason that you guys don't have girlfriends yet academics and money Athletics. waste of time like because money. you're not money because you're waste not good at academics no, no just to keep them up and it's a, like i don't want to have to go spend money waste that i don't need to time. spend so you're trying to focus on academics yeah and when you don't want to spend money what do you mean by that well i just want to spend money on myself that's pretty selfish. selfish. them girls be thirsty <laughs> what did you say bryson <laughs> them girls be thirsty <laughs> All right, wow. Caden. Caden. So, uh, real quick before this, all you guys oh, yeah. play youth sports. All yes. of you play uh, uh, basketball here at the school, and you run track and do all those things. So, what's your what's your number one favorite sports memory out of your sports career? Because you know we're semi pro here. We all think we're professional athletes, and we could have been professional athletes, or you guys could be professional athletes. But what's your favorite yeah. youth sports memory of, of all time? Let's start. We'll start over here with Caden this time. Uh, winning a state championship last year. What'd you win a state championship in? Baseball. 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 What baseball. class? Baseball state championship. Baseball. Right. Yeah, that's probably my favorite memory, too, winning that state championship, being coached by the best. Larry Eisenhower. <laughs> <laughs> no one likes Shout Chad. Out to Coach Larry right there. Coach Larry. Brian Dieterding. Connor, what's your, what's your favorite memory? Winning the 13U AA state championship, hoping to repeat. Great right. great team. Yeah, no, you guys Actually, Caden, you know, uh, fun fact, he made the final out. And Brady caught the final out at first base, and I but he Connor's didn't keep the ball. The final out. Brady didn't keep the ball for some reason. He like let go of it. You stole Connor's. It was definitely. Yeah, I, it was on it was, my side of the base, and he <laughs> came over. I mean, he was 
I zoomed fair, over. To be fair, he was coming across the shortstop. I was second base. It was on my side, but he was coming across, so it's an easier play for him. Yeah, I zoomed over. Every night. Wake up. Bryson, oh what's your favorite uh, memory in your sports career? Mine's probably down in Oklahoma City. He won a championship. It was like 10 o'clock. A championship at 10, like 10 o'clock at night, like you 10 mean? 10 o'clock at night. That, those two jokers were on the team at that yeah, point. Yeah, it was the D-Bat one, right? Yeah. Is that the one where you guys got um, the home plate for the trophy? Yeah, yeah. down in D-Bat. We finished, <laughs> finished the tournament at like 10 o'clock, and then we decided to drive home that for some pretty, reason. Least that favorite was... sports memory. All right, what is the least favorite <laughs> hold sports on, Hold okay. on, hold on, hold on. What's your favorite sports memory? Oh, yeah, Dad. My, my favorite sports memory growing up or as a as – a, Like as just a, in general. In general. In general. Like uh, so uh, so I would probably say one, when I won the uh, 12 and under NBC State Baseball Tournament uh, when I was 12 <laughs> with the Wichita Pilots who picked me up that year to play. And so that was really fun. I played in three Cabo World Series with the Bandits, which was fun with that. But probably the most memorable out of all of those things that I've done was watching our team last year win the 13 and under USSSA uh, AA State. State tournament. Now, let me tell you what my most least favorable. Can I take a is. wild Any guess? You guys know what that is? Uh, when you got kicked out of the state tournament. That, that was, was awesome. I, was kid, that wasn't like, <laughs> I didn't get kicked out. I got kicked out because we played up. And they brought us back down to playing another age group, and that, there was rules against that. My favorite, my favorite time watching Chad is how you got in, into it with this lump. They threw him out of the tournament. That was. That was funny. That guy, That's just one time. I've only yeah, thrown then, out of one time. In 12 U State, we had that same umpire in one of our games, and he stayed as far away from yeah, my dad I've as I've only he been could. thrown out one. No, but it, none of you guys know what my least favorite memory, especially the three of you guys. You don't know what my least favorite memory is. When the Broncos three. lost in the Super Bowl. No, probably my attitude. Well, no, no, there's always your attitude. Does that have remember, to do with Huskers baseball? I remember my first game so, with you guys. So there I was, sitting on my coaching bucket. And we were on the third base dugout side. And there was our team in the field at the 12 and under NBC State Baseball Tournament. Oh. And we were beating oh my the four time oh. defending state champions. We were up four to two going into the top of the last inning uh, when we choked and ended up getting smoked in extra innings uh, and losing the game, a game that we could have won. So that's probably my least like, favorite sports like memory. Six innings of that too, See, there's, there's what. I Another a life lesson that playing. that thing throws in that game right there disappointment. Disappointment. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I pitched like one inning. <laughs> disappointment. It was the first final inning and failure. I gave up like twelve runs. <laughs> yeah. And well, my first game with you guys it was this is was it 2013? You think? Go with it. We're gonna go with it. <laughs> Anyways, I was playing with you guys in our very first game. We played a team called State Line Shocks, and we got beat like 16 to zero. Very first game. Ah. Uh. I don't ever remember those games. All right, let's jump into uh, – so the reason reason we're here today is because we want to talk about some other sports stuff. So we've got some topics in the hat, and uh, we're going to let Bryson pull out the first topic, and we're going to see, if, any of us, was. see if anybody so, we'll really Bryson. knows what we're talking about here at the deal. So, okay. Bryson, go ahead and what you got there. I came up with these. Will KU so. win the Big 12 this year? Oh, that's a Naturally, good one. Naturally, he would get that one. That's a good one. Don't throw it back in there. We don't want to yes. redraw it. Well, that we'll would be funny it. if we did. Let's just leave it there. We're fine. <laughs> Well, well, so, so will KU win the Big 12 this year? Big thing. Drums I think I it's think definitely so. between them and Texas. Tech. Them, I think. I think okay, so. so KU, they're a good team this year. They're not, but they're not great because great teams don't go to away games, play flat at almost every away game, especially when they're playing like West Virginia, who hasn't won a conference game. The reason they lose is because they play flat. They're a good team. They play good at home. They just don't play great at away games. And they've also had home games at Helen Fieldhouse, like beating Stanford barely beating Stanford, who's not ranked. But it's going to be a competition because I said the same thing last year. But So let, let's start with this real quick, though. Are you, are you who, talking about regular season who, or tournament? The, uh, a regular season, Big 12, because cause I've done that, what, 14 times in a row now? Yeah. yeah. So who, who here actually is a KU fan? Let's, let's figure that out. Now, how long have you been a KU fan? Since birth. Since birth? birth. Okay, <laughs> I believe that in your household. So how long have you been a KU fan? Because, because you've been a Husker fan. So when did you become a KU fan? Well, I guess I always cheer for KU basketball, and the best basketball's not good. There's okay, but wait. There. So you're not then, a so true fan. So what you do is you just pick a sport, and you're only a Husker fan in football. So how's, how's that working out for you in the last few years? Well, it's better. Okay, better. better so that's, that's, that's one thing so, that irritates me. Is so people will be... KU win the Big 12? Connor, we know what Connor thinks here. <laughs> yes. So what do you get? Bryson, you're yes. a yes. Is that because you're a KU fan, or do you have reasons for what's, that? What's Partly, your reasons? I think they've got a really really good team, Devon Dotson. He's pretty good right now. I think he takes up him with LaMarcus Garrett and Quentin Grimes down there. They'll wreak havoc, hey, I think, Lawson. when they get going. So, so how Deidre are they Lawson. in their last three games? 
not, not too good. hot in the last three games. They played pretty stagnant. But what, what's their? What, what are they ranked today? Anybody see what they're ranked today? It's like ten. It, it's down. It's I'll definitely check. down. I've seen it. They, they've got three losses now so far. Caden, Caden, what do you got? I mean, I don't really have an opinion on it. I mean, I think they definitely have the talent to win it again, but. I mean, Texas Tech also has a shot too. I mean, so there's so, a there's a possibility of getting into this later, but I think it, I think if there's a Kansas team that's going to win it, it's going to be K State, not KU. Well, I think Whoa. so. So right now, there's four teams at four and two. Mm-hmm. Four teams at four and two in the Big Twelve Conference. Now, Caden, where's your team at in the Big Twelve Conference? Oh, two and four. Two and they're, four. They're one win above West Virginia, who's in last place. Yeah. Right. So West Virginia, OU, bottom two teams. So Connor, and, you, and they're still you, ranked number twenty. They're right. gonna Which, fall. Oh, they're oh, gonna fall is. Monday. Oh, you is. Yeah, oh, they're you gonna is. fall tomorrow. Yeah, they're they gonna lost fall to tomorrow. Texas last night. So, so Connor thinks that if there's gonna be a Kansas team with the Big Twelve, it's gonna be K State. Who agrees with him on that? Yeah, I don't. So I really Bryce, don't. Bryson and Brady, you guys think it's gonna be fifteen in a row? They have I, what? Two losses. K State has two losses. No, they have four losses. They have four losses. In, in conference. In conference, yeah. In conference. in conference, they have two, I think, and with. Which we might get into later with you, Dean Wade back. All right, so here, gonna... here's something that you guys should know, and if you've ever watched any of these kind of shows, it's pretty cool. But they actually have this thing out there called the Internet and Google and some cool stuff like that. So you don't have to think whether or not they have two losses. You can actually just pick the phone up right here, jump on a little bit of Google, pull that up, and we can figure out exactly how many losses they got. KU's okay, number Google. seven right now. I bet I bet they dropped to about 11. Record. KU's number seven, all right. I bet they dropped to about 11. Yeah. Okay, so so – Go ahead, Brady. I don't think KU will, I don't think a Kansas team will win the regular season this year. Who's going to win it? The Kansas Iowa State. Wildcats football. Iowa State? You think Iowa State's going to take it? So I'm disappointed. Okay, Google. I'm disappointed that K-State in all of this conversation. record. Hey, bro. I said that <laughs> Google, you can type into Google. You ain't got to talk into Google. We're trying to have a conversation over here. So I, th- I think it's interesting. So none of you, none of you said anything about the coaching at KU. Bill Self's a great coach. What, what but is none of you saying? said that. None of you said. None of you factored in the coaching into whether I mean, or not they're going to win the Big Twelve. I mean, Iowa cause, State because they haven't had the same players for fourteen years. So obviously the coaching is a big part. So yeah. how, what what makes you think that the coaching, even though Brady, you said that they don't have the they don't have the player experience this year, what makes you think that the coaching isn't going to get them there because they have the coaching experience and a lot of people thought they weren't going to do it last year. I'm thinking the only reason they wouldn't go because of coaching this year is usually what's referred to as a self-adjustment at halftime hasn't been working in the last couple games now. They call it a self-adjustment because he goes in there and then they play completely different in the second half than they did in the first half. But it, they've looked about the same, and if not, they've played even better in the first half, I think. That would be the reason. But, but I don't know. That could just be young players not adapting while the – coaching he's a I think he's a good coach but like again with the young players like if you have an experienced team you're not going to go into Ames Iowa and lose like Hilton Coliseum it's a tough place to play but you're not going to go into Ames Iowa and lose by almost 20 or go into West go to West Virginia again tough place to play but lose to an 0-5 conference team by two on a a good point at a last in the last minute you lose to West Virginia when they're at the bottom of the conference I I also think though that's Virginia predictions have been made already (laughs) that's because of huggy bear because of huggy bear Bob Huggins the predictions have been made already this year saying that I think almost all the big 12 teams are going to be in the tournament the 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 team who wins the big 12 will have at least at least four conference losses maybe five four four Four. in-season conference losses yeah yeah so and right, it's going right, to be right now, Iowa State or K State. Right OU now is got, a maybe Texas Tech. Right now they've got two, right? The top four, four teams. teams. Iowa State. Are four and two. Iowa State, Texas Tech, Kansas, and Texas. Iowa State, K State, Kansas, Texas Tech. All have all are all are all, 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 all four and two right now. Like I said, OU is speech. <laughs> OU is second to last in the conference, and yet they're still number twenty. That's got to say Kaden, something. Great got? conference. What you got, Caden? You're quiet over there. I mean, I don't <laughs> understand why you're so quiet over there. You're not quiet anywhere else. Uh, that's a lie. Burn. But, okay, I feel like – you know what I feel like. I do – I feel like K, KU doesn't have as much experience as they had in the past few years. Like, not even close. They're a young team. They don't like, have They don't have – Yeah, because, like, last year they had, like, all, like – last, like, last year they had Devontae yeah. Graham. Yeah, well, they had Mikhailu. Put him on their back. They have one of the, like – in my opinion, the Gerald Bick, going he's down. He's probably so, the best three-point shooter. With Azubuki going down. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me down. about when you talk here and stuff, right? So it's really cool, though. Like, anytime you talk, 
it is your opinion. So you don't have to tell us in your opinion. You can just talk because we know that's your opinion, bro. Okay. Vic, cool. he like he's not the guy that's gonna go off there. Like he's not gonna be like a Graham where he or Mason where he goes scores tons of points during he's, the game. But he, in my opinion, not okay. I guess I'm not gonna <laughs> say that. He is a he is one of the. Mo- uh, most cold-blooded players in the Big 12, it, like clutch. So yeah. if you get late in the game and you need a you need a three-pointer in the last 10 seconds, he's going to be the guy that goes out there and he's going to hit the three, send it to overtime, where KU will pull it out. Yeah, and like, but they and don't like, have yeah. they don't have that they don't have that guy, especially with Azabuki out, who's going to go just score like go off. Uh, I mean, I think Lamarcus Lamarcus Garrett did it the other day. That was like, that was big. Vic Vic he, he put is up like, 18. He's like improved a lot on his three point yeah, game. Vic, from the Vic past is few years. Vic is ice in his veins, and you think you have a shot, then he pulls up with three guys in his face and knocks one down on I'll you. I'll tell you, Stanford. I'll game. tell you, and we'll move on to the next topic. I'll tell you whose three point game improved tremendously just over the last couple of weeks. Not mine. And that was Caden Poor. Did you see? Oh him the other heck night? yeah, man! Four for six from three point range. I thought it was four for five, but he told me it was four for six. From three point range, that's a pretty good percentage, right there. I so. I don't I haven't had it hit a three all season yet. But it was yeah. in, it was in two different games though. But you have fouled out, and that's I went I, I have I went two out. for three in one fouled and out. two for three in the you, other. You though. at least you, you make good fouls. They yeah. count when you three of them were on one possession. I got right, yeah Connor, I got, got Ingles game three fouls in thirty seconds on the same possession. Connor, you got the next. Uh, you got I do. The next topic. Here. All right. I could talk for that. I could talk on that forever. But that's just me. All right. Put put the Connor missed a bunch of layups in the Ingles game too. Thank you. Connor missed a bunch okay, of Okay, here's a good topic. How will Jalen Hurts transferring to OU impact their football team? Oh my gosh. They're, they're gonna be they're gonna be dominant again. I, 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 think I think that I think they Austin win Kendall's this year. transferred. Spencer Rattler, I mean he's if he's everything that people are saying that he's gonna be. Don't start him, throw a red shirt on OU him. OU wins the four games. championship. Because Jalen Hurts is, I think Jalen Hurts is going to be that guy who's going to be a leader for the team. Mm-hmm. So and OU wins the national championship because Alabama was set to win the national championship, and then he transferred, and now he just put him in a huge hole. But they have Tua still. So Tua's here, only a junior. So who here, first of all, who here's OU fans? Let's we'll get a show of that every time we have one of these teams. Talk. <laughs> so they, he set the bench last year for Alabama, and so they were winning the national championship. Came up big in the SEC. But, yeah, but SEC my, championship. Tua got hurt. What if he gets my hurt big again? Question, though. Because you're talking about one of the freshmen. Mm. If they say that you know yeah, the he's backups like, already transferring. Yeah, because yeah. Spencer Rattler so, is like is like the top quarterback in the nation. I say you okay. don't start him to get him that year of experience, though. So he, he, here's my here's my question, right? So what's the benefit to Jalen Hurts by transferring to OU? Because you you, you may get to play more passing yards, you better will. draft. So so we think Pick. he's not as good of a passer as as Baker Mayfield or Kyler Murray who has been there, not as accurate as those guys. No. And and that's one of the reasons that I think he lost his job uh, to two hours wells because he's not as good of a passer. But so so you're leaving Alabama where you've established yourself and you're going to OU. And so I, I'm thinking that there's a couple of thoughts going on in his head. One is, hey, people don't think I'm that good of a passer, and I'm going to go to an o- offense Spread. that that is a huge passing offense and has the last two years has produced the Heisman Trophy winners. So if I go there, From I the can really show position. people, I can show people that that's you know that I've got those passing skills and I can and I can actually live up to that because the offense is going to let me do that. But here's the other side of it: what happens if he goes there and he doesn't even get in the Heisman voting? I don't think he has the confidence right now. I mean, Oklahoma, I mean, would you have the confidence if they, if your coach just benches you, right? The, he's not going right after you started two years. He's not going to start at Alabama. You. Oklahoma, yeah, Oklahoma has like they've they recruited and like got a bunch of like four star, five star wide receivers to sign, and they, they got the best. Have, they got the third best wide wide receiver in the nation. Yeah, and they also have like Hollywood Brown. C.D. Lamb, he might be going to the draft. I don't know. C.D. Lamb, they'll still have Lamb. Yeah. Hollywood Brown was a JUCO transfer, so he's gone. Yeah, so Hollywood Brown's gone, but they still have like C.D. Lamb, who's like a really good, like he has good hands and speed, and I think that if he just puts a ball anywhere like near him, then I think. C.D. In Lamb my wins. opinion, I think you should start him over Rattler to get Rattler the uh, one year experience. But with that new redshirt rule, where you can play in four games. While being a red shirt, I think you start with Rattler as a red shirt. You don't necessarily have a second string quarterback, but if it comes to the time where you need him, if Hertz gets injured, then you can take off that red shirt and have Rattler. What do you got, Brady? I don't think he'll start. Why? Not? Why? 
He but, should have all the confidence in the world after that SEC championship game. But then he didn't play the next game. Well, yeah, he didn't even expect to. But I didn't. But yeah, because I don't think. But do that you think he'll? Do you think he'll be able to build up the confidence being there for spring football, and learning the new offense, especially with the great program OU is. Yeah. I th- okay, because I like, just wonder what. I, I just wonder what does that mean if you go there and you don't. I mean, like that offense and Lincoln Riley has produced back-to-back Heisman Trophy winning quarterbacks. <laughs> Lincoln Riley is the best offensive the coach in the country. And whether that's Jalen Hurts or anybody else. I mean, how do you go in there? Because if you don't win the Heisman Trophy, like you didn't even. If you don't even get in the voting for it, did you meet the standard of what's expected now? Mm-mm. I mean, I don't know because I, I definitely think that two is going to win the Heisman Trophy next year. I was kind of surprised he didn't win it this year. But he's probably going to win it next year if he doesn't get hurt. Well, I don't think it's going to be too much of a difference. But, yeah, like Baker, his junior season was still in the voting. And his senior season won it. But the season before we had Baker, they had Baker with Trevor Knight. When they had Trevor Knight, they he didn't make the voting. Neither did Blake Bell, who started that season at quarterback. But they moved and put Trevor Knight in. And we were still they were still able to – Trevor Knight, who hadn't started all season, was still able to have the confidence and go out there in there and be the good Alabama team in the Sugar Bowl, especially with and they didn't even have Lincoln Riley then, but it was still a great coach team. So if if they're good, if they're coached again next year, Lincoln Riley, a great coach, I think they'll be fine. He'll be fine. What are they going to do? Switching a little bit on OU. Does it really matter what the offense does if they don't figure out a defense here at some That's point? That's a good point. Well, yeah. they hired that new. Uh, they hired a new. Um, Defensive coordinator from Ohio deal. State. He was a co-defensive coordinator. Real He's supposed to be the real deal. deal. But okay, but other these other ones were the real deal too. They didn't change the scheme. So they changed the players, but not the scheme, which is what their problem is. If he changes the scheme up, they'll be fine. But it's the scheme that it's the scheme that's messing them up. There you go. That that I, direct direct from Coach Connor Poor right there. <laughs> it's the scheme that's messing them up. Let's get a scheme change right there. All right, so so where are we at? Where do we stand then in the end of uh, is Jalen Hurts going to be a big impact to the yes. University of Oklahoma? Yeah. Yes, team? yes, yes. Got some yeses, Brady. Yes. I think you're a no. I don't know. Caden. Yes, I do think he has the potential. Yeah. What do you to think? One at some point. I think I think from a leader standpoint, he is because if you watch what happened in the SEC game and throughout the entire year, and, and the, it was yeah. all over the it, media and people talked it, about it. It is here's a, here's a guy who lost his starting spot, and in today's world. When you lose your starting spot, what do you do? Quit. You don't quit. You transfer. Basically, you transfer, yeah. yeah. You transfer. In today's world, you transfer. And he stayed. And you transfer immediately. That's what happened at Clemson. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. what happened at Clemson. The, yeah, the because minute, the, minute the, the minute Trevor Lawrence became the starter at Clemson, their first starter, I don't even remember his name. I now. It, I was it something name. Boyd? Bryant or something. Oh, it was, I think it was Bryant. Kelly Bryant. Yeah, right. Kelly Bryant. The minute that Trevor Lawrence became the starter, he was, gone. He, he was out and he transferred, and Jalen Hurts didn't do that. And so he bought, he bought his time, he stayed there, he supported everybody, supported the team. And then when his time came in the SEC championship game, he stepped up and did his job. And so I think from a leader standpoint, I think it is going to be an impact. Yeah, I think and he made I think the right it, decision too. I think if, if you look at that game, Two gets hurt. They kind of took a big shot there, and then they put Jalen Hurts in, and it's almost like they stepped it up two notches. They knocked yeah. down one and stepped it back up two. And I think that's how they ultimately ended up winning that game against a very good Georgia team. I, I can mm-hmm. tell you this: I don't ever see Jalen Hurts, and I'm, I'm an OU fan, and I think Baker Mayfield's a great football player. I don't, I don't think I'll ever see Jalen Hurts um, spouting off to teams on the other side and getting no. his crotch. No, definitely in their not. Direction. I he, think, he, I think I he's just think too classy of a player for that. Absolutely. Absolutely. What we got, Brady? You're up. You're up for the next topic. I thought you were drawing. Yeah, are you nope. not drawing? No, I'm good. Okay. Okay. What? What? What if when we get to the fifth draw, who's drawing? We'll do. I'll a mystery draw again. Draw. We'll do a mystery. I'll draw, draw again. Rock paper scissors. We're draw out of the hat to see who draws. I'll man out. All right. <laughs> Patrick Mahomes season. Amazing. Who? Who is that? Patrick Mahomes. Yeah. You mean the Chiefs quarterback? Oh, okay. You mean the oh. the amazing is that a, is that an NFL record team? breaker? Chiefs NFL team. Yeah, the ones that play the Patriots tonight that are going to go to the Super Bowl this year. Yeah, that team. Mm. Patrick. So what? So what's the Kansas question City, again? Baby. How? Like, what was the season? Patrick Mahomes season. Quiet, his, a royal your shirt your thoughts on his season? Like, how okay, how did gotcha. it go? Who, who, royal who's shirt. got thoughts on Patrick? What was his effect Kansas on the Chiefs? City. Here's a, here, here's the thing. When you look at a lot of the things that he's accomplished, you know, their stadiums right, are like throughout the season, being a young quarterback. He's accomplished a ton of stuff. I'll tell you exactly where I knew that he was a different breed of quarterback. Nope. <laughs> He's a baseball player? Nope. 
the one defining moment where I went, oh, he's good. When and he, he threw a left-handed, left-handed pass. pass. The left-handed pass. What about the no-look pass? No look. against the Broncos. Didn't Honestly, I mean, my gotta... opinion is he would not have as much recognition without Tyreek Hill. Yeah, And Travis would. Kelsey. Yeah, he's thrown – most of his touchdowns have been thrown to Tyreek Hill. Yeah, but he's he's got, a great he's quarterback. The ball to him. Well, I mean, yeah, Tyree but Kill like go look at Tyree half Kill has people, enough speed that if he just puts one up there, Tyreek Hill can easily go look at half of it. the passes. Yeah, I'll other... show it from the wide receiver standpoint, and the wide receiver can't even see him, and all of a sudden this ball just comes from down here, and it's like right off the line, right off the. He's a great quarterback. Butt. Well, yeah, but if, yeah. I, I, mean, I, I mean, think. I mean, look at look at how many other NFL quarterbacks are there. I mean, it doesn't matter how good they are; they got to throw the ball to where Tyreek Hill can catch it on the run. Yeah, yeah, he's blazing, and dude. Mahomes has done that. Every yeah. single like. He's no John Elway, but hey. my my favorite my favorite <laughs> hey, play just of wait, him. He'll get there. My favorite play of him, like not the not the left hand pass. He was, I think, it was against the Ravens. He stepped up in the pocket. He saw, uh, I don't remember what right receiver it was streaking across the field, and he threw it. Uh, he looked away. It was Tyreek. Oh. Yeah. He looked away because he, he wanted to get the safety off. So he looked away and had a shortstop sidearm. Like if you're like when you're coming up through the middle and you have to you don't have time to plant your feet, so you like sidearm it. He had that arm motion, no look on the money pass. It, I think wh- he's making the money. I'll tell you that. I mean, yeah. been on the money. Did you see the? Well, did you guys see else? the thing where he's gonna in 2020 he's gonna make two hundred uh, have us two hundred million dollars possibly from who? The Chiefs. The Chiefs. Yeah, the Chiefs. You think they'll pay that much to keep him? Yeah. I mean, He's what other quarterback can you name that looks like a shortstop when he's playing football? Kyler Murray. <laughs> Besides <point>. Kyler Murray. <laughs> you know what? You know, you, you, you Actually, know who another uh, great quarterback is? Russell that, Wilson. Uh, Russell Drew Wilson. Drew Brees. Drew Brees. Drew Brees. Yeah. Short guy, can throw the ball. Holds, holds a number of NFL records. Yeah. Now. I think the difference between Brees and Mahomes is what? Agility, if you, agility, and Mahomes has a strong. If arm. you look at if you look at quarterbacks playing baseball, like has helped these like Tom Brady. He got drafted, or not drafted. He uh, got a scholarship, I believe. Knows a lot, doesn't he? Like he's, 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 Tom he Brady, he only? definitely researched. All Tom Brady could have gone to Michigan <laughs> for baseball as a catcher. So what sets apart Patrick Mahomes from Tom Brady? Patrick Mahomes was a he was a shortstop, played in college. Patrick Mahomes is doing. And his second season, what it took Brady to five seasons to accomplish. Mm-hmm. And then like Kyler Murray, obviously, being if you're a baseball player, depending like it, you obviously like being like a first baseman or someone who doesn't throw the ball as much, you're not gonna be able like maybe to do all those fancy arm angles. And but like if you're like especially with Patrick Mahomes being a short, I think being a short, shortstop, especially with his dad being in the MLB and his dad teaching him baseball, it helped him so much to be a great quarterback because he didn't start he I saw a video in he, yesterday and he didn't start playing until football really until his junior year of high school yeah and I remember when he started the other night I was watching something on ESPN he and it was football he just didn't start yeah, as quarterback it was, until then because because they had other good starters ahead yeah. of him in high school mm-hmm. it was like he's like a 30 for 30 on Patrick Mahomes or something something like that and they sat down with uh Aaron uh A-Rod and he said every day, go out and play baseball. And then one day he came to him and said that, I think I have another love, and it's football. And he told him that that was the worst mistake, that would be the worst mistake of his life, going to play football instead of baseball. Then he said, yeah, I'm glad he didn't take my advice. Because, I mean, and I just think you grow up working with A-Rod like that, and Alex, Alex Rodriguez is really good. He goes out there and practices like a shortstop. And all he does is put the football in his hands and doesn't change for him. It literally looks like he's playing shortstop position at, at a QB. Uh, you know his dad was a major league baseball player. Yeah, Pat Mahomes. So yeah. that's some of why that went that way. So 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 you so good year all the way around for yeah. everybody. Probably one of the best years as a quarterback especially in for the NFL Chiefs. history. Easily. Yeah. Easily. But <laughs> best for the Chiefs. Um, especially with his first year starting too. I mean, yeah, normally so. the Chiefs don't win playoff games. But, I mean, he won them a playoff game. <laughs> he won a playoff game, right? <laughs> Which I think brings us to a whole other point, right, Connor? So let's get to this point real quick. Who in here is re- who in here is a Chiefs fan? Are you Chiefs Chief fans? So, okay, so let me ask this question real quick. Has the Chiefs – Star player of the team right there. Has the Chiefs won a Super Bowl in your lifetime? No. no. There you go. So why, so why is it that 
Chiefs fans can talk so much smack on us Broncos fans when they when they haven't even won one in your lifetime. How can you talk? I mean, they've won one Super Bowl, and that was like a the long second time ago. Super Bowl? It wasn't even in my lifetime. Fourth? Yeah. It wasn't even in my lifetime. They won <laughs> one Super Bowl. And all these Chiefs fans today haven't even ever seen the Chiefs. Some of them haven't even have they won a playoff game in your guys' lifetime. Besides the one they just won. Yeah. <laughs> yeah they just won. 100%. I mean, I'm glad about the loyalty, but it seems like there's a whole lot more of them coming out today. And I'll tell you, true story. This is how I know. This is how you know when the bandwagon comes on or when the people jump on. So the Broncos, I tried to get Broncos season tickets here before the boys were ever born. When me and um, – might have even been before me and Audrey first got married. I had put my name on the list for Bronco season tickets. It was nine years. Nine years before I got the email saying, hey, we, we finally have some tickets for you. I was on the waiting list for nine years with the Broncos. My brother, my brother moved to Kansas City. Um, oh, it's, it's been a number of years ago, back 10 years ago, whatever it was. Moves to Kansas City. Decides he's a sports fan. He's not a Chiefs fan primarily, but he's a sports fan. Decides, hey, I want to. Hey, let me see if I can get Chiefs season tickets. Picks the phones up, calls the front office, and can get season tickets right away that same day. Like that long, same day. How long ago was that? Ten years ago. Ten years ago. Yeah. You could have done that three yeah, seasons ago before Alex Smith came. Have wanted to be a Chiefs fan ten years ago. But but, but that's, so that's the thing. Why do you bandwagon. Only, why do you only jump on when they're a good team winning? Why are people not with them all the time? Like I, my Broncos had a bad year this year. I stick with them and all last year. the time. Yeah, I'm, and last I'm with year. them. See, I, I've always liked the Chiefs. They're the uh, mm-hmm. Jayhawks. But where are all the other fans coming? Where's the Where's the rest of them at? Why, they're just like, like the Royals. same thing. It's with like the Golden Royals. State Warriors. It's is like that, is that a, what, what sport do they? They play? live in basketball. Can, especially basketball is not a sport. The people <laughs> like around the Kansas NBA is not a sport. <laughs> I think we should. If you're watching this video, we should take a vote, <laughs> and you should put in the comment section whether you think the M- NBA is an actual sport or not because they don't play defense. <laughs> I don't know that it's considered basketball. Oh, you, got, you, got a f- you got a few players playing defense. I mean, not a few. More like one and Anthony well, Davis. She's getting up there and blocking everything. Well, there's definitely sees. no Dennis Rodman around. Well, back, no. to, the, back to the Chiefs. Um, <laughs> <laughs> with the, mm-hmm. the whole bandwagon thing, like, there, I know, I don't know, but I've, especially with the, them doing well, there's been a lot more stuff like where people are wearing Chiefs or. Like, because I typically, there's not typically a whole lot of people that, you know, are going around supporting the Chiefs 24-7. But now it's just happening more. And I feel like people that are from, like, Kansas especially are like, oh, the Chiefs are doing good. And I'm not really, like, a fan of any typical NFL team or my team's doing bad. So I'm just going to jump on the Chiefs bandwagon so I can feel like I'm a part of this. Yeah, that that definitely happens. A Baker Mayfield bandwagon fan? No. I'm not a Cleveland fan. I'm a Baker Mayfield fan. And that, that's what that's what irritates me. All of me us is. are bandwagon Cleveland fans. We want them to win a Super Bowl. Don't lie. No, I want Cleveland to win more than ten game? games. I, yeah. I, I want to see Everybody was a bandwagon. You're right. Everybody was a bandwagon. Last year, when at the end of that season, when I could walk around and say the alphabet officially has more wins than the Browns, that, that was really Has more, more Ws, Ws than the Browns. Ws, not wins. My bad. How many people this year were talking about the Packers? The Packers have less. The who? The Packers had less wins. Than, than the, the Browns, Browns this year, I believe. So here's a story out of Kansas City. Jacksonville that, wasn't very good either. Good, good story out of Kansas City that does make you enjoy uh, the Chiefs being in the area or maybe it may want some people to be a Chiefs fan. But how, how about that story of the homeless guy? Oh, that yeah. Helped the, that helped pull the lineman. Oh, yeah, Jeff Allen. That, that guy, that's nuts. How cool is that? So the guy, the guy, the lineman's stuck in the snow, right? The homeless guy, who nobody knows is homeless at the time. Was in his car. Lives in his, in his car, car has, yeah. has a couple of windows in the Suburban out, helps pull him out. So then the Chiefs player wants to reach out and give him tickets to today's game, which would be cool to do, right? And then they find out he's homeless, and then other people give him stuff. So there was actually a, there was actually a, a, a car, car yeah. shop that actually put in mm-hmm. glass inside of his vehicle for him because he was missing some glass. So how cool of a story is that? I say we give him a, a yeah. new Lamborghini. Nah. He can give, sell I it. I say give him a new, new Suburban. So I think I think while we're sitting here talking about sports and life, some what what do you guys? What's the learning lesson from you guys in that scenario right there, Caden? What's your learning lesson in that scenario, being a, being a fourteen year old? 
I mean, even if life is tough for you, it doesn't mean you shouldn't be able to help someone else out whose life is maybe better than yours. And I guarantee yeah. he, I guarantee he wasn't thinking about. He didn't even know hey, the guy was a yeah, Chiefs player. Yeah, he, I guarantee he wasn't thinking. Oh, I'm just gonna get some free tickets out of this. He goes, yep. No, that that man's stuck. What if he has to go to work? What if I had a job and I got stuck? I'd want someone to pull me out. I don't think he knew who the Chiefs player. No, but no, no, he didn't. And then, I just think it's awesome. That guy. Totally awesome. Stepping right? up. So you guys may not know this, but total, totally complete opposite story from the one that came out, uh, I believe it was last year sometime, where the homeless guy, the lady runs out of gas. This is in the northeast part of the country. Lady runs out of gas, and um, and supposedly a homeless guy gives her, her la- his last $20 so she can get gas in her car to get home. And all over, all over social media, all over the news, everywhere, they, they start a GoFundMe account. They raised like 400 and some thousand dollars or something like that. And then it comes out that it was all a hoax. That, that these, this guy and his girlfriend or a guy and his wife got, got with this homeless guy and decided they would come up with this story and they would post it and then they would share some of the money with him. And so what happens is they do that. They raise us a whole bunch of money, but they don't give that guy all four hundred thousand dollars of that money. They give him like seventy some thousand of it, but then they spend. They had a new BMW. They had some new stuff, and so finally the guy gets mad, and he uh, gets an attorney, and they file a lawsuit, and then there's an investigation, and they realize that this whole thing was a complete hoax just so people could make money and so you've got stories like that going on but then you have true legit stories like this where hey this is a guy that was just trying to help somebody out and he's homeless and he doesn't have anything but somebody needs help he's going to help him out ain't got anything but his character that's about it absolutely absolutely that's what we all strive for our kids to be that's why i'm yelling all the time at the twins hey quit picking on your little brother help them out well help him out yeah I mean, I'm not going to tell stories, but we're not as mean to our little brother as not he's necessar- he's technically a little brother, brother but little brother. like like you're with him and his brother. Cor- you're going to tell him Uncle Corey was super mean to me cuz I'll agree no. with that. No, I'm going to tell him that, all that they that. fought worse than me than I like I was with my little brother. But, I don't know that we fought worse. There was definitely more dangerous weapons involved. That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> that that's because we didn't have video games in our days. Because you couldn't to, throw a controller. That's because we, sno- we had to walk to school in snow, five feet deep uphill both ways, with, that, with, just, a, with, with just a light jacket, and and we didn't even have uh, snow boots. We had tennis shoes with holes in them. Well, it's not it's not my fault. This is when I was born. I mean, if we, we could go. On well, that. it's not my fault either. Kaden, draw. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Talk Don't draw one that we've already drawn. What was it? I was hurt transferring. See, I don't know why you guys put them back in there. I know. Because Bryson did, and you're like, it's going to be funny. So I put mine back I in there. I definitely know which one I It's just funny got. now. No, I don't. Okay. Be- best, oh. co- best, best youth baseball coach you've ever met? No. Baker's impact on Browns. Good. Goodish. I, I told you I was going to have one word answers, and mine's going to be good. He led them to however many wins they had six, five, five or six. Like six. I think they had six. Bryson, yeah. are you the, who's but the with, stat guy? Who's the with stat Ty guy? Rod, Brady's on it. With Tyrod Taylor, Tyrod Taylor was not helping them at all. I don't think it's necessarily a Tyrod Taylor question. Well, he didn't lead, He didn't have any wins. Like, because that game that Tyrod Taylor went out and they brought Baker in, Baker led them back in one against the Jets. I think it's a competing question. They're going to the playoff next year. Baker Mayfield, he competes, man. I mean, you yeah. got to realize they're going to win at some point. When you're getting the first pick of the draft every year – Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, true. Seven wins. Seven, seven wins. Seven wins. So they uh, not too far from the playoffs this year. Seven and eight, that's only 15 games. So did he have a good impact on the Browns? Yeah. Oh, one got canceled. One probably but, got but canceled. who else was an impact on the Browns? They have wide receivers. Oh, Jarvis Landry. Jarvis Landry, yeah. Jarvis Landry yeah. Bradley Jarvis Landry. Chubb. So I should probably tell all you guys right now, I'm just going to point this out. Cause Firing like their coach. Speaking and stuff like that. So raise your hand right now if you have a mint in your mouth. Who are you trying to keep your breath fresh for? 
you. Myself. Mm-hmm. Because Self. now, because now what you got is you got mints in your mouth while you're trying to talk, and the people are gonna you're gonna be talking funny with mints. Mm-hmm. You put them on the side this of your is, mouth. This is lear- this is learning lesson. At, this it is a learning good. lesson at this point. It tastes good, but at this point, when you're when you're doing a public show like this, you don't put the mint or the gum in your mouth. You don't eat the food. You don't. You can have a drink and take a drink of something non-alcoholic, but you don't eat the food or do any of that Darn. kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Speaking of that, we should get waters for, for next today. time. We should get Water. pops. We're gonna get time. mugs, but there's not gonna be like coffee mugs in them. Mugs. Say semi pro, semi pro mugs. So. So, so Jarvis Landry, impact impact to the Browns or not? Yeah, yeah. and Joku, David and Joku, he's Who's a great tight end. Who's their running back? Bradley Chubb. 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 And, and there you go. Chubb. Chubb. So it's is is Wait. it just Baker or oh, and Duke no. Johnson yeah, Jr. Duke, Can't forget about Duke, Duke Johnson, Johnson Jr. But Chubb was that at the end? Yeah, Chubb was a big impact also. So not just Baker Mayfield. A number of guys have stepped up, but they would have won in the beginning of the season if they had a kicker too. They'd be, they could be in the playoffs right now. True, their kicker cost them. Gonzalez, the the he cost a couple games. Gonzalez cost, them cost the first them a couple two games. games. I mean, it's not all on the kicker, like, like that Chicago Bears kicker, like people sending him Parking. death tweets. It's not all his fault. It was Tim. He, so, so he got this. a free beer. A- every one of you guys. He, he made like he made like three hundred bucks off that. Yeah. Something or other because fans were sending him. That's it. Like the guy's an NFL well, player. I okay. mean, but you got to think about it. Someone who were just to send you three hundred dollars. An, Eagles, an, an Eagles fan bought, bought him, a, him beer. a beer. Okay, so but, and a bunch of people started doing but it. I, all of I've coached all of you at some point in some type of a sport, right? Yeah. So what's the one thing I've told you all the time? All don't, the time don't about suck. winning and losing and about. A play like the kicker missing a field goal at the end of the game. It's about the next play. No, nope. it's game. the team's fault. It's not the nope. kicker's fault. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorta. The line, sorta. the line let the kick it block. Sorta. You can't blame it on one play. What's that, Connor? You can't blame it because earlier in the game, like uh, I'm sure the Bears earlier in the game. Repeat, repeat it. You can't. What? You can't blame, blame it on one play because I'm sure earlier in the game. The Bears made some mistake Boom. that, like, if they didn't make that mistake, they'd be up by a touchdown, not even having to kick a field goal. You can't blame. There are so many plays that occur in a team sport game like football Impressive. that you cannot blame it on one play because it came down to that play at the end of the game. You cannot blame it on that. I'm having Bryson look up how many turnovers the Bears had. Why? And that, just, just so it shows. Boom, there you go. You can't blame it. That's what we say all the time, right? Mm-hmm. Can't blame it on one. I am. Play. I'm kind of stuck right now. That depends on how quick you can Google. Or are you serious? The Browns, though, I think the Browns will make the playoffs next year. If not next year, the year after. Who thinks if the they Browns keep Baker will make Mayfield. the playoffs next year? Hands up. I don't know if they're going to make it next year. It'll be close next year, but I think the year after that, they'll have enough experience to make it. The Steelers, the Bengals, They're and division and the Ravens. And the Ravens. Oh, yeah, I got them next year. It have to be a wild card. You know what? I say yes. I'm with Connor on this. Look, looking at the other teams that are there, the I Steelers, think, I think, are on a downtrend. I think the Ravens are going up, though. I think the Ravens are going up because of Lamar Jackson, I think. When, but the Bengals the hired NFL. Hugh Jackson. That's so, just a downfall in itself. I, mm-hmm. I don't know. They're going to the playoff. Right? I mean, the because like the Bengals, they started off good in the season, but then they just started going downhill. Okay, so something I just realized that we need to do is um, is we need to figure out a way to keep track of predictions, so that then we can come back. Sam, my pro predicts. Next year, when we're back next, semi pro picks. But when we're back here <laughs> next year, that we can say. So, so our first semi pro picks semi-pro choice. Predicts. And, and this is not even predicts. predicts, but this is a semi pro picks decision time here. And we'll go around the room and everybody say it. Will the Cleveland Browns make the playoffs next year? Bryson? No. Connor? Yes. I say yes. Brady? No. 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 Okay, no. so you heard it here right now. Connor and I are yes. The other three are a no. Are we counting, so next counting year wild we'll, card? We'll check yes, that. wild card the counts. Playoffs. The okay. wild cards are the playoffs. Okay. Are I still don't st- think so. You're still a no? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Did you figure out how many turnovers the Bears had? Uh, they punted twice. I know that. They okay, I'll put it okay. in here. All right. no, no how, many, how, many, no. how many we have? Are we on fifth topic? That was our fourth. Yeah, yeah. That was our fourth. What, what's our time? Well, well, what's our time? I may just pull up a topic. Brady, how much good. time do we're we have good. left? 15. But they also had two takeaways. There's no time here. We can cut it down. So they had, like, they forced two They turnovers. had positive. They had positive turnovers. Like, ne- I mean, like negative turnovers. 
Yeah. So basically, it's also like the Eagles' fault too because they had two turnovers, so that caused them not to win. Straight up blame Parky. Or that called that caused them. I mean, but how many times can you hit a crossbar? Like for real. (laughs) That's a good point. (laughs) I like that comp that commentators. And the Bears season ends on a double doink. The question fits in with today. Let me draw one more and see. But the question fits in with today. Oh, it's a question. Oh, it's so a Super Bowl prediction. They're two. I, these guys come up with topics. If you guys ever, well, I'm thinking about it, if you guys ever have a topic, just put it in the comment section. We can yeah. put that in the list for the mm-hmm. next time. We can have the topic there. So um, these are I, I drew two appropriate. Of Some of you may remember this from last video. These were drawn up by fans, and by fans, I mean me. Yes, because he's his own fan. <laughs> and the drawing so, helmet made its return. Here's, here's the first one. Here's the first one that I drew, and that was: Is Tom Brady the goats? Is Tom Brady the greatest of all time? As of this year, no. Of all time, not as of this year. No. As a career. In a career, yes, he is. Well, actually, I think is he on, the greatest of no. All time I don't think he is. We I have think to think. At, you have to look at Drew Brees, Tom Brady, Peyton Brady, Manning, yeah. uh, John Elway. So what defines no what defines the greatest quarterback of all time? Tom Brady, not the greatest. You know why? Technically, but it'd be. As his playoff career, okay. Getting to the playoffs and doing well in the playoffs. What I, I think. Here's what you got to look really, at. I really, I don't think you have a defining greatest quarterback no. of all time. What I think you, you have a category of about five or six quarterbacks that are okay. the best. You don't necessarily like everyone's looking for the well, rings. It's not necessarily that. It's yeah, stats are going to play part of it. But how good was the team when you took on the team? How good were they? And if you can take a bad team to yeah. the playoffs, like if you can take a bad team to the playoffs on your shoulders or take a bad team to a Super Bowl on your shoulders, I think at that moment you can be the greatest of all 2017 time. 2017 year. Would have Tom Brady, if you throw him into the Brown, uh, Browns lineup, would they go to the Super Bowl? Maybe not the Super Bowl, but maybe the playoffs. Would 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 any quarterback that you threw into that take him to the Super Bowl? I think no. <laughs> no. <laughs> not well. I think no. But... Uh, so about Tom Brady I, I do goats. think if yeah. you take if you throw Belichick and Tom Brady onto that Browns team, I think you do. Do you think we Belichick could ever get Belichick to, to smile? Do you think we could ever get Belichick to smile? Belichick used to coach for the Browns, I believe, way way back in the day. Way, back way, when way, the Browns way, were way, good. Way, hey, I think it has happened, Connor. Way back in the day. <laughs> Tom Brady, the greatest of all time. Oh yeah, you, you're saying that about a uh, bad team making him good. But if you can't get to the Super Bowl and close out a Super Bowl win. Could you really be considered? I mean, you can because the Atlanta Falcons, that comeback, it was one of the greatest comebacks ever orchestrated. One Bill smiles. Belichick did smile one so time. So here's my um, – what is that? It's Bill Belichick smiling. Bill Belichick smiling. actually smiling. I, I don't okay. believe it. So it's photoshopped. It, 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 so here's, here's, my, here's my take on it, right? So I think you have to ask yourself what is the greatest of all time. Is it winning Super Bowls? Is it – Win no. loss record in the playoffs. Breaking records. Is it owning yeah. records? Breaking because stats. because football is a team sport. Yeah. Football is a team sport. So is it individual records? No. Or is it how your team does? And it brings up a good point. I could be a great quarterback, but be on a very very bad team. I think I'm I'm gonna say one it goes thing. With I like gotta LeBron say LeBron James receptions. Touchdowns. It has nothing to do with LeBron James. <laughs> Listen, nothing, <laughs> nothing to do with LeBron it's, James. It's receptions, <laughs> touchdowns, and wins. Well, he obviously doesn't have receptions. Did you see him drop that pass in the Super Bowl? Like, oh, no. that's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what I think it is, right? So, Nick so, Foles, goat. Nick Foles, goat. Nick Foles could be the goat, right? He led him last year. Baker Mayfield. They're still going. Yeah. The what Philly happens, special. What happens if the Eagles win the Super Bowl again this year? Yeah, <laughs> I know, but I'm just saying. What okay, if they, what if they won it? But year? the the Philly I would special. Protest the NFL. Nick if they Foles won goat because he caught the Philly special. Like Nick Foles okay, is goat. But, but the Philly special came from the Sooner special because Oklahoma did that. C.D. Lamb, you know, C.D. Lamb, Baker okay, Mayfield, so we're action, back to Georgia Tom Brady game. Being the goat. Here, the here's my thing. I, am I a Tom Brady fan? No. Why? Why am I? Because he's a, a Tom baby. Because you're a Broncos ready? fan. Because yeah, Philip Rivers, biggest baby in the NFL. Yeah, Philip Rivers. Also has the most no. kids out of any e- player Manic. in the NFL. Uh-huh. So it it's like that. nine kids, bro. Yeah, it's yeah, awesome. All awesome. But but here's the thing, Brady's. Brady's been successful year in and year out. He is one of the top quarterbacks in the NFL. In any fantasy league, he's one of the top quarterbacks in the fantasy league. So Tom, Tom Brady wins, play, wins regular season games, wins playoff games. I mean, the dude's 41, still playing, still 
still in the playoffs, still it's with like another chance to go win a Super Bowl. He's had a number of drives late games gate. to win. And that's not taken away from anybody else. I mean, Joe Montana, great quarterback. Terry Bradshaw. People don't think Terry Bradshaw was a great quarterback. He Terry Bradshaw quarterback. won four Super Bowls. Brock Osweiler. Had a great team. Brock Osweiler, <laughs> not a great quarterback. I'll say again. Kyle Orton. Okay. Deflate gate. Trevor Simeon, notice we're naming all Broncos quarterbacks. Kyle Orton. Yeah. J- Jake Plummer. Don't forget Jake Plummer. <laughs> Brian Greasy. Tim Tebow. Brian Greasy. John Elway. Gary Kubiak. I'm not talking name. We're going to throw in okay. Matt Castle. Okay. Matt Castle. Uh, <laughs> Matt Castle. So I, I think there's a case, and granted, I'm not a huge Tom Brady fan, probably because I'm jealous that he's with Giselle, but I, I think deep down he's probably jealous that I'm with Audrica. So, um, but. <laughs> definitely. Definitely. Yeah, but you got to you gotta make a case. I made that the, nickname. I think Drew Brees is in that group today. I think Peyton Manning absolutely is in the group of greatest quarterbacks of all time. Eli That's Manning, right. not so much. So you got to admit he's top five, right? Cooper Manning, you definitely gotta not. Yeah. you got to admit Brady's top five. I mean, yeah. he's, def- he's definitely top five, but I also think there's a big tie for first. I mean, there's there's definitely a big tie for first. I mean, you put Cooper for, Manning – you put Cooper Between Manning in with the Patriots, they lose every game. I think they're better in Elway. Elway, Elway was good, but not to that extent. <laughs> put in who? Montana. If you put Cooper Manning as the starting quarterback for the Patriots, they lose every game. Put Tom Brady in there, they win know. Super Bowls. I think they will win one, and it will be against the Cardinals. Here's the thing I mean, you have to. Here's the thing you have to remember about Brady that. Manning that makes him different than than uh, Brady Manning. <laughs> I'm making that would be a great quarterback, wouldn't it? Here's the thing. Here's the thing about Tom Brady versus um, uh, like Peyton Manning or Drew Brees and those guys. When was when was Peyton Manning drafted? A lot, like 1998. Not what year? How high up? How high up? Very high up. Very right? high. When was Brady drafted? He was Low, really sixth round. I think he was right? way low. He w- he was at the end of the draft. He almost wasn't even drafted. And so for somebody who wasn't even drafted to produce like he's produced, I think is one of the things that makes him the greatest of all time. But Here's the thing. Just that's also what I'm saying is <laughs> I think I'm going to throw Patrick Mahomes back into this. I think Patrick Mahomes. You can't, you can't put him I know. in there yet. Because I know, but what, but what I'm saying is I think by the end of his career he's going to be better than Brady. But I don't pa- know. Because what could happen he's with already Mahomes. accomplished more than Brady and had in his first what five years. What we've seen years. before yeah, what and I, what we could see with Patrick Mahomes and we've seen before is these – Kids, will, these kids, people, these, no. How old are you? <laughs> <laughs> these, these, these young Did quarterbacks. You walk the snow uphill both ways too. <laughs> <laughs> these, these, Have you even ever had to walk to school? <laughs> yes. When? These people will go. They'll go. Like they'll have a great first few seasons. But what we could see with Patrick Mahomes, I'm not saying we will, but he could be like people we've seen before who just they're bust. Like they're good at first, He's then they, a bust. they're bust. He's they not bust. bust. Like they'll be good one season, next season they're bad because it's definitely the pressure. Be good next season. Because especially with a young guy I, I like think him, it's continue a, to be good. Yeah. yeah, but with a young quarterback like him, if you're good, like your first year starting, there's a lot of pressure on you to do the same thing next season, and it could well, yeah. just be too much. Name one quarterback that's been absolutely amazing in his first season, completely tanked his second season. Tim Tebow. But that was like when his was he second amazing season. In the first season. Yeah, he, he wasn't he really subbed amazing. In brought for the Broncos Kyle Orton, back. Who was to bad. The, he did get playoffs. the Broncos to the playoffs, but I don't think I don't think he was amazing. Wild he wasn't Patrick game. Mahomes and good, think, and I don't think that he was bad after that. I think he just didn't get the opportunity. A lot of people didn't think he was an NFL quarterback. He was a competitor. That's how he was able to get the Broncos. That's why he's in the LB. So, so give me another one. He's a competitor. Like I can't think of one. It doesn't happen. Not often. If, if they're if they're not good in their second season, it's because they weren't good in their first season. It happened to Johnny Football. Totally I just thought of a new topic, but what about Andrew Luck? I mean, that dude, that dude had a really good first year or two, and then he's, he's look, back up this year. Yeah, look at Andrew he Luck. He, he's good now. He's still good. Yeah. Injuries. Good. Yeah. injuries. I think that's what, Caden? I said I thought of a new topic, but we don't have to talk about what it. What is it? Do you Kareem trust Hunt. the process? Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna skip that one. That's Let's talk idea. Kareem Hunt now. <laughs> Cream Hunt, don't, don't, I mean, like, get, I mean, you could give the dude a second chance, but okay, not the I, chance. Okay, I'm here, saying, here was the other one that I brought Or what are your up. thoughts on Le'Veon Bell? We'll hit this one, and then we'll get ready to start closing things out. What what should Kyler do? And, and that's in reference to what should Kyler Murray do? He, he should be a Bo Jackson. Four, he, signed, he got a $4 million signing bonus for the Oakland A's to be in baseball, and he's, he's just now said that he's going to the NFL draft. Do you want to hear my he semi-professional do? opinion? Okay, I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> okay, so. I played semi pro ball, did you? <laughs> okay, so Kyler Murray, great quarterback, great baseball player, high draft. But 
so right uh, right away he'll go to the ML if he goes to the MLB right away he's not gonna go to the MLB he's gonna go to like AAA with that signing bonus he won't go to Double A but maybe Triple A he's not gonna immediately uh, start with that MLB. signing bonus there's he's no gonna way go, they're sending him he's gonna go him straight down. to the A's but okay no, no. no. with that signing camp. you're giving him f- and it depends on what they do you're giving with him the four MLB, million dollars to sign the, a piece of paper you're not gonna put him but they do that a lot with high draft picks they he'll go to Triple A they give him a big one and they put him they're still in the minors for a while but if he goes to the NFL he'll make more money right off the bat. And uh, so, so, so if, the if the NFL, NFL money. I think no, you should do both. If the NFL, because he's not gonna, if the MLB doesn't work out for him, and he's still, he's not gonna really be able to go from the MLB to the NFL like he would if he can go from the NFL to MLB. He, he can not- start in the NFL and say his first season doesn't work out for him. He can still go back to the A's and be a great baseball player because it's all about like the time. You can go play baseball for twenty years, but in NFL you only last probably about five years I before you're beaten up. That's not what Tom Brady said. <laughs> He's not going to be, but he'll probably be put out I of like really a slot position. I really want to see him do both because he's too much of an athlete. They'll put him at a slot position to, to pick one right now. I think, in my opinion, he is too much of an athlete to just pick one sport. I, I think, think he should, he should go football and hockey. football. I think he should go football. Do you think start with football, than then Jackson go to baseball. And Deion Sanders at both. No, not at no. But I think he's too much of an athlete to just completely get rid of that sport. He didn't want to. He yeah he didn't he didn't want to. You could tell Kyler Murray still loves both of these sports. He's gonna go to the sport that gives him most money. I think he should go play both of them. I think if he should go to NFL first and go to baseball second. I think he should do both at the same time, and then because NFL you're obviously not gonna be honest, stay as long. The minor leagues is terrible. Like you don't they pay bad. The travel's bad. Like yeah, you're still playing baseball. You love the game, but it's the the travel and the pay is terrible. Like you're if you're taking flights, you're taking. I've seen like a video a guy who played in the minor leagues described all this. You're taking flights. You're doing like connecting flights. If you're going across country, you can't just fly one way. You're flying out at like you play ten o'clock game, flying out at six in the morning. Don't really have time to sleep. Bro, you got a private jet at that point. In the trip in minor leagues? No, I'm just saying if he's playing both. Yeah, with that much money. No, has? but like I'm saying, like as a team travel, or you're taking buses. Like he said one time. He they had a t- late game. Yeah, they're gonna they got they got done with their late game. Their crappy buses. They're coming from like Washington or see, they're coming from like Washington or Oregon back to California. So their bus. They have a game in California the next day at like eleven ten o'clock night game. So they're coming back. Their bus breaks down on the middle. The like on the way back. At least it didn't hit a deer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it breaks down, and so then they don't get their to game to like there's an hour before the game. So they don't really have time to sleep, eat, or anything. Because there's no AC on the bus. Like, it's just, from what I've heard, it's terrible travel. The pay is bad until you get to the minor leagues, or major leagues. But in the major leagues, like, everything's, it's way worth better. It. Well, it's for your it. first it's few years, it. you're not it's getting, because, like, Aaron Judge, for his first, like, few years, he was only he was only getting paid, like, maybe, like, $2 million, $3 million. Over time, Hitting baseball dangers. pays more. Only. Over paid. time, the only sport only that million, pays more million million than baseball dollars. over time yeah, is soccer. That's not, a, that's not that much <laughs> in the soccer. MLB. Maybe hockey. I mean, it's soccer still a lot. a lot, yeah. It's not all about the Benjamins. Not all about the Benjamins. So let's finish it up here. Uh, we've been at it for just under an hour, which is our goal right there. So uh, finish it up. Today is obviously a big day. Um, this may not get pushed out today, but um, just so we have it down, we're going to go with our semi-pro picks. Um, first AFC championship. Um, we're going to talk about their Chiefs versus the Patriots in Arrowhead Stadium. Chiefs. Patrick Mahomes, Tom Brady. Bryson's got the Chiefs. Carter, who do you think is going to win that game? Uh, as going back to Tom Brady, Tom Brady, he's going to pull it out. He's going to win. Okay, so we got a Patriots there. Brady? Uh, I think the Chiefs did that Arrowhead. If it was at Gillespie, you know, I think Tom Brady would take it. Since at Arrowhead, I think like, with the crowd and freezing cold weather, yeah, I think it's home. But That's New England plays in freezing cold, cold all the time. New England, England plays England. in freezing cold all the time. Yeah. So, like, maybe – but I, I have to go with the Chiefs because it's at Arrowhead and, like, fan support and all that. And I feel like with the fans behind them, I think they're going to win. Yeah. All right. So we've got uh, so we've got three Chiefs and a, and a Patriots. I, I I want the Patriots to win, not because I'm a Patriots fan. I'm a Broncos fan, so that means I don't want to root for the <laughs> no, Chiefs. No, you're not. Uh, you're just right. to get rid of all the, the my Chiefs smack talkers there. Uh, but I I I too feel that the Chiefs are going to take this game um, and get get to the Super Bowl again. So we've got Connors, the Patriots won four to one on that. Now let's go to the and, NFC and Championship Giants. game. We got the New Orleans Saints versus the Los Angeles Rams. I oh. think Who you got, I. Bryson? <sighs> 
it, it's a tough one, and I'm just gonna have to just based off the first game. But I don't know though. I really, I really want to say Saints. Connor, who you got? If this were the first half of the season, first eight games of the season, I'm going with the Rams. But now that teams have figured out how to defend that college offense that they run. I'm going with the Saints. Yeah, I'm going with best Saints. Drew Brees, one of the Rams are still right real now. good. So you got the Saints. We're, we got get? the Saints. Saints, who you got, Brady? Rams. No of course. Reason no reason why. Caden, nope. where's the game at? Uh, the the game is in uh, it's Mercedes. That's ding, a timer. Ding, ding, that's a timer. It's at Mer- Mercedes Benz Stadium in. Uh, no wait, yeah, New Orleans. Which, by the way, I still great food in New Orleans. No, I still it's, gotta go with the Superdome, the not gotta, stadium. Stadiums I gotta go in. with the Rams because no one's been able to stop their offense all year. And tiebreaker. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to correct Correction, you on this, Dad. They have I had to correct uh, Kaden and uh, Audra well, Mom on this. The Cowboys stopped them pretty good. On this Cowboys the other day, like it's a uh, Mercedes Benz yeah. Superdome, Mercedes Benz Stadiums in Atlanta. Okay, thanks. Sorry. Appreciate that. Yeah. So, uh, so we've got two two Saints, two Rams. Your um, tiebreaker. I, I call this the Battle of the Shans, um, which I think are two of the great NFL coaches. Even though Sean McVay with the Rams has only been there for a couple of years, I think he's already proven that he knows what he's doing. And you got Sean Payton with the Saints, who's always been a great inspirational coach. So to me, it's the Battle of the Shans, and uh, I actually think that uh, today, I think that uh, Sean Payton. And the Saints are going to actually pull it out. It's in their home stadium. Uh, it's indoors, and I think uh, I think Drew Brees they're going to have it going on as yeah. long as and. as long as they don't give up the last second fifty yard pass play like they did to the Vikings last year. And, and let, right. Well, so, yeah. that was a miracle. I mean, so, Case Keenum threw it. Like, what do you like? Obviously, right. it wasn't meant to happen. Case yeah. Keenum, go. Okay, so go. I'm gonna I'm gonna go. drop a little factoid on you. So, if the Patriots and the Saints end up winning, that will be the highest combined age of quarterbacks that's ever been in the in the Super Bowl. Factoids. And if because athletes were great back then. And if the Chiefs and the Rams end up winning, that will be the lowest combined age that's ever been in the Super Bowl. All right, we're gonna end it on that factoid. Uh, here we go. So final, <laughs> final, uh, final, final thoughts as we before we take out here, Caden. You got one final thought on anything? What do you mean? Just final thought. Anything. Comment, final thought, anything. No. Okay. Brady? Kevin Durant should go back to the Thunder. Oh, that's a good point. Say that again. Let's try and slow down so people can understand that. Kevin Durant, back to the Thunder. I got to disagree with you there. Back to the Thunder. Hey, your final thought was over with, bro. We're we're, we're past you. (laughs) My final thought is... um, You can't just make one up now. You already said no. (laughs) You said no, you're done. Back to Connor. Be a multi-sport athlete. Be a multi-sport. Final thought, multi-sport athlete. Kyler Murray should play NFL and baseball. Kyler Murray should Kyle play County should get baseball. That's my Kyle County thought. High School will get baseball 2020. Yes, Kyle County will get baseball. We're taking a presentation hope, to the board. Let's hope that happens. Let's hope that happens. My final thought is the same thing I tell you guys out for motivation. Don't before suck. Before you guys go out and play. <laughs> and suck. we can all say it at the same time. One, two, three. Don't, Don't suck. suck. All right, guys. Thanks for joining us today on our first ever episode of Semi-Pro Sports. Um, obviously, this was a, a, a go run. We're going to keep trying to bring this to you and maybe add some additional stuff there. Every again, Sunday. Coming to you from the Kiowa County Media Center. Hey, thanks for joining us again. Coming to you live from the Kiowa County Media Center. This is Semi Pro Sports. Make sure to like our channels, whether that be on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever the social media is out there. That's where we're going to hit you up. Make sure and watch us, like us, hey, and give us feedback in the comments what you think or if there's something else we need to discuss. Have a great day.